One player, definitely not in the England squad, but not even in the Manchester United squad against Arsenal, was Jadon Sancho. And um, right, we had a strong conversation last night around um, players coming out, speaking vocally and, and possibly saying things that will only lead uh, to one thing, which is exiting their football clubs. And we wondered whether Jadon Sancho and what he said after Eric Ten Hag had said he was he was basically dropped for Sunday's game at Arsenal because of his poor performance in training, when Jadon Sancho came out on social media, said he'd been made a scapegoat for a long time at Manchester United, asked people to, to not believe everything they read. He said he'd trained perfectly fine. He said, I conducted myself very well in training. He said, I believe there are other reasons for this matter that I won't go into. I've been a scapegoat for a long time which isn't fair. I think for a lot of people, they saw that and they thought, Jane Sancho is probably fed up of his situation at Manchester United and wants the exit door. So do you believe that we will see him playing for Manchester United again? Um, knowing managers and knowing the fallouts that I've had with managers, when you go head to head with a manager, there's only one winner and that is the manager. Um, you never really come out on top unless you are an Mbappe, a, a, a Messi. Um, but I don't think he's wrong for, say, for saying what he said. Why not? Because if the manager's coming out publicly and saying that he's not been training well, or I think he's not been training well, rather than the manager keeping it in house and going to the to to, to Jaden and going right, I don't think you've been training well. That's why I'm not selected you. That's a that's a different story. But he's already came out, made it public knowledge, and then if Jaden himself has been training well, he's got every single right to go no. I have been training wrong. That's not the reason why I'm not selected. He's got every right because the gaff has already made it public knowledge. So he's got a right to defend himself as a player for his future, for other managers, other teams go thinking, oh, I don't want to touch him because he's not professional. He doesn't do this. So if he's got the chance and the place to use that platform and go, nope, that's not the reason. I've been doing this. There's other matters surrounding why I'm not being selected. Then he should do that. But... Jaden Sancho has a choice whether to manage the relationship with his manager, even if he's unhappy with them, in, in one way or the other. And he's chosen a way which basically puts him in direct conflict with his manager. Well, there's already conflict there. There's already something uh, going pu on. But publicly. Like, he could have... If there is a conflict there, and he knows the manager's come out publicly to say he hasn't trained well, at that point in time, we don't know necessarily that there's an issue between the two of them. But we certainly did after his... His tweet, well, right? Well, he's, he's not really targeting Ten Hag. He's not really saying... I don't necessarily blame him because Ten Hag has targeted him in a way. So I'm not... I'm not gonna, but I do think he's targeted Ten Hag back. He just said, um, I, I feel that I've been training... That's not, I've been yeah. training correctly. But then he said the manager... What the manager has just said, live on television, is wrong. That's not true. And then he's also gone on to say, I think that there are other reasons for it. So he's asking us all to speculate well, over well, what, that's what, what that might be. That's what we are doing be. because he yeah. knows he's in that training ground 24, but well not 20, but every day that we know. He's, yeah. he's there. He's there. He knows what's going on. So whatever he's saying, he's got more information. We haven't got this information. We don't know what's going on on the training pitch, off the training pitch, what the hierarchy are saying, what other coaching staff are saying. We don't really know that information. He does. So for him to come out and say that, then he must have some form of validation and, and reason for it I just find it, it, it he needs to repair the relationship Jaden Sancho's responsibility now is almost bigger than Eric Ten Hag's because of what was said I think had Jaden Sancho not gone public with his view he could have definitely gone into the manager and said hold on a minute what's going on here why did you say that about me I'm not happy he kind of loses that position in the in the argument now um, you know, he can't be on his high horse because of what he's tweeted because now I think Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag will be unhappy with him. And I, I also think it, was, it wasn't it was done in the spirit of reconciliation. I think for me, that's the big issue. And that's why I think it, there might be a long way back for Jadon Sancho. That's my big issue. If he's not in the squad at this point in time at all, what happened at the weekend will not help him. And that's the question that I'm asking. Do you but think... But he's not... He's not he, he wasn't put in the squad for training purposes. You, you there's more you, to so it. You agree with Jane Sancho? Yeah, there must yes, be something yes, hundred percent. There's more to it. There's not. He's not putting the squad because of training. You, you you don't win three points on a training pitch, and if he's saying oh, I've I've trained well, I've trained normal, but Ten Hag is using that as an excuse. There's more to the argument. There's more what's going on than just a training incident. 
on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.